For me, in any case, all the music that I do, even with the Sufi Gospel Project, is about peace, is about equality, about oneness and acceptance. So for me, I really wanted to explore partition with a message of peace, with a message of friendship. My generation, for example, didn't live that side. We didn't experience partition. Everything that I know, I know from my grandparents. My mother didn't live through partition either. I mean, there's so many stories, so if you don't mind, I'll share some of them with you. One of them was, you know, there was this lady who'd come and she thought her husband was dead because he'd been taken, attacked by a mob and she couldn't get over the, the grief. And then two days later, someone came and of course the crowds gathered, and the man was very injured and she saw it was him. And she says that image, Sonam, she said that lady, you know, in those days, they were much more sort of sharam karte the. They wouldn't just have any public displays of affection. That woman threw herself on him and she just wept and the patta kahi just gave, he's alive. And you know, she said it was so moving. And she said, you know, even her own father went, called her and her younger sister aside and said, uh, if the mob comes, if the mob overpowers us, I'm going to ask you for a favor and I want you to promise that you'll do it. So she said, what? He said, Putar, I may have to shoot you, but you have to do it, you will cry, my heart will cry. So I mean, yeah. So beautiful stuff like this. Yes, imagine a father having to say something like this. So there's beautiful stories like that, all of which further reinstate my belief in the friendships and the fact that if there were these friendships, there can be these friendships. My mother's side is from Rawalpindi, my father's side is from Sargoda. So in fact, when I went to Pakistan and I sang there, I just sang for the Fairs Peace Festival. And again, it was really special. It was quite magical how we went through. We got our visas the last day and, you know, and the first time I crossed that line, I had one foot on one side and one on the other side and I looked down and I started to cry. I just thought, this is it. Ek lakir aapne bana di. And it means neither here nor there, I didn't feel any difference. I mean, you walk across to Lahore, it's like you go to a market and it's like Lajpat Nagar. And you're like, where am I? The people are the same. It's, we have a shared history, we had a shared love. We were children of the same mother. And we weren't really torn apart out of choice. It was a political move. When you meet people one-on-one, -on -one, and love that you get from the people when you go there, I mean, they just say, to see India, you The scooter wala said, I can't take money from you. Someone I went to buy juttis and jewellery. The jutti guy, I was buying some juttis. He gave me one pair and I said, no, this is an extra pair. He said, no, you see India, you come to India. It's our gift for gift. If I had to talk of an underlying message, is that yes, this happened. But we went through it together, so it didn't hurt you more or hurt me more, it hurt us equally. But let's not forget also that before this we were wonderful friends and we still, when we meet outside the rooms, outside the walls, outside the, the boundaries or eyes of politics, we are still friends and you meet us with so much love, we meet you with so much love. So let's just focus on the good now and let's talk of a way forward. Maybe I am, I'm a dreamer <laughs> to quote, imagine, but and I'm naive, but I do believe that I believe and I hope for peace and friendship.